Yes, this video is breaking things apart in terms of the typical left and right as they show themselves or often show themselves here in the United States. I fully understand that a lot of this stuff is totally different in other countries. I also understand that the whole left-right paradigm no longer properly describes all the nuance to our current scenario and our current society. I understand that some of the stereotypes no longer really apply very well anymore, but there's still a lot of truth to it as well. Anyway, right-wing insults towards the left, as well as genuine critiques towards the left, are usually more cutting. They often get to the heart of the matter very quickly. Sometimes it stings really badly. This, really, in reality, is the primary reason why the left works so hard to censor them. If leftist moderators can stop every imaginable way of saying something, you know, the opposing position, then they've removed the ability for the opposing side to state their views. And as a result, in the minds of the ones doing the censoring, they've won the debate or they have the upper hand in the discussion. I mean, since it's virtually impossible to state the opposing view without it being considered offensive, too offensive. You know, the actual facts are what's offensive. And you can't block that. So you block all the different ways of saying it and then act like you've won. Left-wing critiques and insults towards the right are usually very shallow. They rarely get to the heart of the matter of why the right-winger holds the views that they have. It's usually a slogan-deep understanding of the other side which is virtually none. And they'll keep repeating it over and over again as though they're actually saying something different each time. It's completely boneheaded, and I think the left can do much better. It's usually an insult that ends in istrophobic. And since they're more and more often seeing that these insults do nothing, and the right-winger doesn't eventually give up after receiving essentially the same insult several times, the left-winger will step it up a few notches and try to do something to ruin the person's livelihood. Or affect their livelihood in some way, if not to completely ruin it, but to just negatively affect it. Oh, this is a warning or whatever, right? You can't have that kind of belief. I mean, someone's just not allowed to have any livelihood if they hold certain opinions, right? Or that's what virtue signalers want everyone to believe. Unless it's certain kinds of things, like wishing death on a former president or being deeply crude to people's religious views, people on the right don't really get offended at things people on the left say. That's the biggest reason why they rarely push for censorship. Why censor when it doesn't hurt, it doesn't sting, it doesn't do much of anything? They do, however, worry about their livelihoods, and that's something no one should have to worry about for simply stating their views. If you can't win in a civil debate, or you can't have the upper hand in a discussion, it's no reason to try to ruin or damage someone's livelihood. It's no reason to try to ruin someone's life. You also can't win a debate through censorship. Everyone else can see it. We're not blind. No, it's not fine when you do it. It doesn't matter how virtuous you think you are when you do it. You should really develop a thicker skin for discussion and debate. Just saying.